I've seen you not working before. But this is a whole new level of not working. I have a rip in my jeans. She sat down on the floor. Did I miss the crying, or is that still to come? I was already on the floor, putting things on the bottom shelf, at which point I happened to notice a rip in my jeans, Your Honor. Well, those look like they've had the biscuit anyway. Maybe you should toss that pair. Toss these? These are my favorite jeans. We've been through a lot together. Back, you scoundrel. A sword fight with who? Well, I can't remember exactly, but he was quite the scoundrel. Hey, do you think that you could maybe patch the hole in the knee for me? Well, I suppose I could, seeing as how you're a grown adult, pushing 40, and yet you have no significant person in your life who might be able to help you with things like this. Great, thanks. Haley, she told me this. Why do you see so many earthworms when it rains? I give up. Why? No, no, it's not a riddle. I'm, I'm really asking. I got worms at my house. I'm so glad you finished that sentence with at my house. Well, the real non-riddle answer is worms come to drink from the puddles. Huh, that makes sense. Are you serious? That's not even close to the real answer. The common earthworm, Lumbricus terrestris, has photosensitive skin. Humid conditions are the only time it could safely surface without damaging its epidermis. Drink some puddles, eh? Thanks, Lacey. It's not puddles. I told him the real answer. What gives? Well, maybe people get a little put off by your big words. You mean intimidated by my vocabulary? Well, yes, but put off by your big words works just as good. <laughs> as well. As good. good. Accurate. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What did I miss? Oh, we're uh, we're just talking about wheelbarrows. Oh, my favorite kind of barrow. I'm getting a new one. Chrome arms. Sweet. It sounds expensive. Yeah. That's why I'm holding out till I get next week's money. Next week's money? Yeah. This week's won't quite cover us, so I have to wait for next week's. <laughs> well, what is this next week's money with? Like a pension or something? The money Emma gives me. Mom has you on a budget? That's adorable. It's not adorable. And it's not a budget. She just gives me so much money every week, and that's it. So, uh, more like an allowance. <laughs> oh, very funny, smart guy. It's not an allowance. It's a set amount of money that Emma doles out at a set time every week. Holy hell! I'm on an allowance! Hey, guys. What can I get for you? I'll have a coffee and an order of macaroodles. They sound fun. Well, I'm sure they are. That's why they're on the kids' menu. They are? All right. And they're cheap, too. How cheap? Under two bucks? Oh, are you tight on cash? No. Why would it be tight on cash? Seems like a strange question. Well, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So it's settled. I'll have macaroodles. You have to be under 12. Chronologically, not mentally. Doesn't seem fair. Hey. We may not like all the laws, but we still have to enforce them. Rules are rules. What can I get for you? Just some tap water. Brought my lunch from home. You can't eat that in here. Sheesh. It's with all the rules. Yeah. Why can't a grown man have a plate of macaroodles if he wants? That question just answered itself. And besides, they don't come on a plate. They come in a bowl. Well, a boat, actually. Well, now I want them even more. Look, it, I'm going to give you a few more minutes with the menu, and then I'm coming back. You look like you're thinking about stuff. Oh, kind of. I ripped my pants, so I gave them to Mom to patch up. I put on other pants. Just making sure? You perv. It's not a perv thing. It's a hygiene thing. I don't think I could hang out here if you're not wearing pants. Small price to pay. 
Dignity for sanity? What are you trying to pull? I'm shaving an eight. What's it look like? Oh, everyone's so smart. I'm talking about this allowance business. What allowance? You went behind my back and gave me money every week. I can't figure out this and you at the same time. What are you talking about? You only give me so much money every week. Well, I keep meaning to give you millions, but I forget. Our money is our money. And since when do you get to decide who gets what and what goes where? You think I'm going to let you run the budget? By the end of the week, we don't want a kangaroo farm. I'm going to make my own money. Make money? Can't even make a sandwich. Oh, so I put a loaf of bread in the dishwasher one time. I'm going to set this up in Brent's old room. It's quieter up there and less crazy. Oh, man. I haven't been up here in years. Linda's still looking good. Buenos dias, senorita Ronstadt. Senorita's busy. What do you want? Uh, I wonder if you'd patch these. <sighs> well, I guess I can do them for you. Just set them on the table. Thanks. Oh, man. I remember playing with these. Hey, stop licking them. Stop licking them. Makes them go faster. Hey, need more room? I could uh, take that racetrack right out of here for you and maybe those boxes of old comic books. Does that mean you'll go with them? Let's see what else I can free up for you. This stupid radio's busted again. Well, it's old. The circuitry oxidizes over time, causing the charge to reroute. You're gonna have to get a new one. Whatever it is, not working. I just told you what it is. Something's loose in here. Did you drop it? Oh, I give up. From now on, no more scientifically derived explanations. No more what? Highfalutin jibber jabber. Oh. Well, you shouldn't dumb things down for people. It's insulting. That squawk box is older than a dinosaur's diapers. The insides are about as rusty as a Billy Goat's breakfast. <laughs> Billy Goat's breakfast. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll get a new one. I'm thinking of turning Brent's soul room into a sewing room. <laughs> you and your crazy schemes. What's this? I'm starting my own business. Selling cookies. Door to door. Outstanding. Are we rich yet? What's wrong with selling cookies door to door? Well, nothing if you're a ten-year-old girl. You can get cookies from other places than little girls. That's a stereotype. Where'd you get these? From a supplier. These are good. You got any more of these? Boxes and boxes. Let's talk bulk deal. Called Molly or Katie or something like that. It's a buck twenty-five. Would you mug a UNICEF kid? What? It's money. It's legal tender. So, nice weather, huh? That's for dang sure. Yep, that sky's as clear as a belching church. <laughs> you got that right. And them clouds are as puffy as I've ever seen low-level alto cumulus formations. And they're as white as a nun's caboose. <laughs> Good one. Uh, see ya. You come on back now, you hear? You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you, Wanda? Or is it Wanda May now? Wanda Joe Bob? Whatever works, Goober. And at least people are listening. And by people, I mean folk. And if they ever start shooting hee-haw again, you're a shoe-in. Nun's caboose? Yeah, I'm not proud of that one. Oh, hey, Oscar, what's up? How many cookies you want? Pardon? I'm selling cookies. You mean like a little girl? What is it with you people? Broaden your horizons. Buy cookies from someone other than a little girl for once, you jackass. No, thanks. Whoa, 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 what's the problem? You mean besides you calling me a jackass? Hey! Nothing takes away the sting of a nasty insult like the taste of a sweet, crunchy cookie. Jackass! If I want macaroons, why can't I order macaroons? Mind-boggling affront to justice. I might be overstating it a ton. Well, it's the biggest slap in the face I ever had. Well, except for that time that big guy slapped me in the face. At least that didn't come out of nowhere. 
Hi. That came out of nowhere. Do you like to sponsor me in a walkathon? Walkathon, eh? Yeah, I suppose I can do that. Oh, you're not getting dime one out of me until you can show me the proper paperwork. What? You short of cash or something? Soliciting. Kid wants to peddle his wares on the street like a common whatever. He needs a proper license. Shameful. Making a kid cry because you're too cheap. I'm not crying. That's OK, kid. Mean lady won't bother you anymore. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, that's funny. I used to have a Kung Fu Johnny t-shirt like that when I was in grade five. <laughs> yeah. But I tore the sleeve in the monkey bars, remember? Yeah, yeah. And then your mom fixed the rip on her sewing machine. I don't remember that. No, no, I mean just now. She just fixed it, see? Yeah. You mean that's my old Kung Fu Johnny t-shirt? I can't believe she gave you my old Kung Fu Johnny t-shirt. Yeah, and not just the shirt. She gave me all kinds of your old stuff. Well, this is upsetting. Don't worry, I washed it. No, I mean, it's upsetting I was the size you are now when I was in grade five. Hey there. What can I get for you today? A bowl of macaroodles, please. All right, one bowl of macaroodles coming right up. And what would you like to drink? What do I want to drink? Coffee. I'll just snuggle the milk right up beside the ice cream so it stays as frosty as a penguin's privates. <laughs> Great, thanks. Hey, do you know how far it is to Crowley Lake? Just head north. You'll be there faster than a frog can squat. I hear it's bear country. Should I be worried about bears up there? Ugh. Bears are no different than a man. All scowls and growls till you rub the hair on their belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my husband for sure. <laughs> well, thanks for your help. Weren't nothing, stranger. You've given Hank my entire childhood. My ghost gun, my balloon cannon, my super slider snow skates. Stop living in the past. There. Now are the cuffs too big? I don't know. Were cuffs ever this big? I gotta be honest, Ma, this whole outfit is a bit much. I'm trying out some new patterns. Well, new when I got the machine. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was a bionic super agent, I would go for this in a heartbeat. You want to be bionic? I can break your legs and poke your eye out. The cuffs look good. Okay. Hop down now. You don't think people around here are tired of pickled eggs? I hear people talk, you know. Cookies and beer? I don't think that goes. <sighs> this looks shifty. Make them buy my cookies. Don't think so. Oh, some help you are. Is that gun just for show? No, we're not authorized to use lethal force in cookie-related situations. Hey, you should buy a couple of boxes. Here they go good with beer. Me? Well, I, uh... Do you have a license to peddle those? License? I'm just trying to make a couple of bucks on this side. How much money are we talking here? Care to buy some cookies? Yeah, I've done some thinking. And we shouldn't be fighting over this. It's crazy to let this come between us. I have some macaroodles. Strike five. Oh, this got to be some kind of oldism or ageism or some kind of ism. It's common sense. It's a communism. A sensibilism. Wanda, is this some kind of ism? Oh, isms are as prickly as a porcupine's pajamas. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> All units, search party will continue south into the valley. Search party? What's that about? Just keeping tabs on the situation. Seems a family went missing from their camper van. Oh. Yeah, and we're a little concerned because it's bear country. What? Some people don't know the proper things to do if they encounter a bear. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Did you know them? I think I told the mom to rub the bear's belly. What? Well, I was being all colloquial. I didn't think she'd take me literally. OK. Listen, don't worry about it. You know, this is like those kids from the Blair Witch Project. At first, you think they're in trouble. And then in the end, they're OK. They die in that. Oh, yeah? Oh, this folksy crap should not be taken lightly. It's as dangerous as a badger in a rain barrel. Damn it! I can't stop! And although it may have sounded charming at the time, I want to stress that democracy is important. Politics is nothing at all like the mud on a hog's bottom. Understood? 
Great. Now Hank has my Micronauts. Oh, they should have all been gone years ago. I did you a favor. Some favor? Thanks a lot. And I finished fixing your pants. Oh, well, that is a favor, so thanks a lot. Oh, you, you put actual patches on them. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? You said, patch my pants. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I kind of just meant stitch the two sides of the rip together, but... Don't you like them? No, no, they're good. I'm just surprised is all. But giant psychedelic flowers are, you know, groovy. Cookies with beer taste terrible. I don't know what Phil was talking about. Not a bad haul for two hours' work. It'll probably get me through the rest of the week. Hmm? Well, this, plus all the money I had before we started selling cookies. You were incredible. You sold three boxes to the guy I called Jackass. You know, I was going to give you 10%, but after that, I've decided to give you 15. Oh, that's sweet. I want 60. Are you kidding? I was carrying you out there. 60 or I bust you for not having a license. She's you serious about that stuff? Should you be in here? You got loads of cool stuff. I used to. You took it all. I had a disco sun visor when I was a little girl. Yeah, well, boys wore them too. I used mine for rock fights. Keep the sun out of my eyes when I was throwing rocks in battle. Mm. Your stuff was just rotting away up there. Your lightsaber doesn't want to be in a drawer. It needs to be out. Saber and light. That's actually a light sword. I couldn't afford the officially licensed saber version. <laughs> At least your stuff's getting some use now. Yeah, yeah, but you're using it all wrong. Light sword, disco sun visor, together. Who are you, Darth Abba? You know, you shouldn't be playing with that stuff. Isn't that the kind of junk that's worth a lot in the collector's market these days? The heck was that? Oh, the cash register's busted. Keeps popping open like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. The folksy thing is fun, but it can't take the place of real solid advice. Anyway, I'm sorry about the nun's caboose thing. All right, all right. You drive a hard bargain. 16% it is. 60, Oscar. Six, zero. That's almost twice as much. What do you need the money for anyway? Okay, you want to know the truth? I had my purse stolen. So what's the big deal? I'm an officer of the law. Having my purse stolen is embarrassing. I hear you. Davis doesn't know anything about this. No. 10% or a tell Davis. <laughs> I don't see anything of any real value here. What, are you kidding? I got a ghost gun, balloon cannon, lightsaber. Light sword. Oh, he's good. Whoa, hold the phone. What's this? Ah, yes. G.I. Joe. I thought it was G.I. Josh. He went through the same training. No, behind that. The sewing machine. The Schlemmer 3400. They haven't made those since the 60s. Is it worth anything? I could offer you 800 bucks for it. That's funny. Mine does the same thing. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Is that the guy that stole your purse? You're letting him get away. That's the guy who found my purse. Turns out I lost it. Lost purse? <laughs> You'll never live that down. Yeah. So about that cookie thing. I want 60%. 60%? We had a deal. You blackmailed me. Exactly. We had a deal. What do you need the money for anyway? You got your purse back. I'm greedy. Listen, I got people to answer to. I want my money, Leroy. Sorry. My purse isn't stolen anymore, so you got nothing on me. Fine. Hello again. You're alive! I've been worried sick about you guys! Why? I thought you were eaten by bears. No. <laughs> no, we're fine. Okay. Before you go, bears are nothing like men. They don't want their tummies rubbed. Well, maybe they do, but not by strangers. Unlike men, I'm not being very clear. Ursus, Horriblis is a killer when provoked. Don't agitate its abdominal area. I liked you better when you were a hillbilly. Did you find a buyer for your junk? Yeah, guy wasn't interested. 
because that's going to be my sewing room and that's it. He said he'd give you 800 bucks for your machine. I'm done with sewing. Go pack it up if they want that old thing. Don't worry, they can rebuild it. Better. Stronger. Faster. Growing man, acting like a kid. Pathetic. I want a raise in my allowance. We'll talk. If it's Molly, I'm not here. Please, can I have some macaroons? Please, 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 please. All right. I am tired of the whining. All right. Can we eat this pasta? You bring me some macaroons? Davis, those are macaroons. Macaroni noodles. Macaroons. Oh. What did you think they were? Macaroons. Lots of them. Oodles. Yeah. Hey, can I order something else? Well. Mm, cottage cheese and peaches. That sounds good. That's for seniors, jackass. Want to have a gas online? Visit us at cornergas.com. <laughs>